The 61st United States Congress was a meeting of the legislative branch of the United States federal government, composed of the United States Senate and the United States House of Representatives. It met in Washington, D.C. from March 4, 1909, to March 4, 1911, during the first two years of William H. Taft's presidency. The apportionment of seats in the House of Representatives was based on the 12th Census of the United States in 1900. Both chambers had a Republican majority. Topic: Major events. March 4, 1909, William Howard Taft became president of the United States. Topic: Major legislation. August 5, 1909, Payne Aldrich Tariff Act, CH 636 Stat 11. June 18, 1910, Man Elkins Act, ch. 309, 36 Stat. 539 June 25, 1910, Man Act, ch. 395, 36 Stat. 825 March 3, 1911, Judicial Code of 1911, ch. 231, 36 Stat. 1087 Topic: Constitutional Amendments. July 12, 1909, approved an amendment to the United States Constitution allowing the Congress to levy an income tax without apportioning it among the states or basing it on the United States Census, and submitted it to the state legislatures for ratification. Amendment was later ratified on February 3, 1913, becoming the 16th Amendment to the United States Constitution. Topic. Party summary Topic. Senate Topic. House of Representatives Republican, 219 majority. Democratic, 171 Independent Democratic, 1 TOTAL members, 391. Leadership Senate President, James S. Sherman President pro tempore, William P. Fry Republican Conference Chairman, Eugene Hale Democratic Caucus Chair, Hernando Money Democratic Caucus Secretary, Robert Latham Owen House of Representatives Speaker, Joseph Gurney Cannon Majority leadership Majority Leader, Sereno E. Payne Majority Whip, John W. Dwight Republican Conference Chair, Frank Dunkley Courier Minority Democratic Leadership Minority Leader, Champ Clark Minority Whip, Vacant Democratic Caucus Chairman, Henry de Lamar Clayton, Jr. Democratic Campaign Committee Chairman, James Tillman Lloyd Members Skip to House of Representatives, below Senate At this time, most senators were elected by the state legislatures every two years, with one-third beginning new six-year terms with each Congress. A few senators were elected directly by the residents of the state. 
Preceding the names in the list below are Senate class numbers, which indicate the cycle of their election. In this Congress, Class I meant their term ended with this Congress, requiring re election in 1910, Class II meant their term began in the last Congress, requiring re election in 1912, and Class III meant their term began in this Congress, requiring re election in 1914. House of Representatives Changes in membership The count below reflects changes from the beginning of the first session of this Congress. Senate Replacements, 13 Democratic, 1 seat net gain Republican, 1 seat net loss Deaths, 8 Resignations, 2 Vacancy, 1 Total seats with changes, 14 <laughs> House of Representatives Replacements, 12 Democratic, 3-seat gain Republican, 3-seat loss Deaths, 12 Resignations, 6 Contested elections, 0 Total seats with changes, 21 Committees Lists of committees and their party leaders, for members House and Senate of the committees and their assignments, go into the official Congressional Directory at the bottom of the article and click on the link four links. .In the directory after the pages of Terms of Service, you will see the committees of the Senate, House standing with subcommittees, Select and Special and Joint and after the committee pages, you will see the House – Senate committee assignments in the directory, on the committees section of the House and Senate in the official Congressional Directory, the committee's members on the first row on the left side show the chairman of the committee and on the right side shows the ranking member of the committee. <inaudible> Senate Additional accommodations for the Library of Congress select Agriculture and Forestry Appropriations Audit and control the contingent expenses of the Senate Canadian Relations Census Civil Service and Retrenchment Claims Coast and Insular Survey Coast Defenses Commerce Conservation of National Resources Corporations organized in the District of Columbia Cuban Relations Disposition of useless papers in the Executive Departments Distributing public revenue among the states select District of Columbia Education and Labor Engrossed bills Enrolled bills Establish a university in the United States select Examination of disposition of documents select Examine the several branches in the civil service Expenditures in the Department of Agriculture Expenditures in the Interior Department Expenditures in the Department of Justice select Expenditures in the Navy Department select Expenditures in the Post Office Department Expenditures in the Department of State select Expenditures in the Treasury Department select Expenditures in the War Department select Finance Fisheries Five Civilized Tribes of Indians select Foreign Relations Forest Reservations and the Protection of Game Geological Survey Immigration Immigration and naturalization Indian affairs Indian contracts investigation select Industrial expositions Interoceanic canals Interstate commerce Irrigation and reclamation Judiciary Library Manufactures Military affairs Mines and mining Mississippi River and its tributaries select National Banks Naval Affairs Pacific Islands and Puerto Rico Pacific Railroads Patents Pensions Philippines 
Post Office and Post Roads Potomac River Front Select Printing Private Land Claims Privileges and Elections Public Buildings and Grounds Public Expenditures Public Health and National Quarantine Public Lands Railroads Revision of the Laws Revolutionary Claims Rules Standards, weights and measures select Tariff regulation select Territories Third degree ordeal Transportation and sale of meat products select Transportation routes to the seaboard Trespassers upon Indian lands select Wages and prices of commodities select Whole Woman suffrage House of Representatives Accounts Agriculture Alcoholic liquor traffic Appropriations Banking and currency Census Claims Coinage, weights and measures Disposition of executive papers District of Columbia Education Election of the President, Vice President and Representatives in Congress Elections Enrolled bills Expenditures in the Agriculture Department Expenditures in the Commerce and Labor Departments Expenditures in the Interior Department Expenditures in the Justice Department Expenditures in the Navy Department Expenditures in the Post Office Department Expenditures in the State Department Expenditures in the Treasury Department Expenditures in the War Department Expenditures on Public Buildings Foreign Affairs Immigration and Naturalization Indian Affairs Industrial Arts and Expositions Insular Affairs Interstate and Foreign Commerce Invalid Pensions Irrigation of Arid Lands Labor Levies and improvements of the Mississippi River Manufactures Merchant Marine and Fisheries Mileage Military Affairs Militia Mines and Mining Naval Affairs Pacific Railroads Patents Pensions Post Office and Post Roads Public Buildings and Grounds Public Lands Railways and Canals Reform in the civil service Revision of laws Rivers and harbors Rules Standards of official conduct Territories Ventilation and acoustics War claims Ways and means Whole Joint committees Conditions of Indian tribes special Disposition of useless executive papers Investigate the Interior Department and Forestry Service Caucuses Democratic House Democratic Senate Employees Architect of the Capitol, Elliot Woods Librarian of Congress, Herbert Putnam Public Printer of the United States, Samuel B. Donnelly Senate Chaplain Edward E. Hale Unitarian until June 10, 1909 Ulysses G. B. Pierce Unitarian elected June 18, 1909 Secretary, Charles G. Bennett Sergeant at Arms, Daniel M. Ransdell <laughs> House of Representatives Chaplain, Henry N. Coden Universalist Clerk, Alexander McDowell Doorkeeper, Frank B. Leone Clerk at the Speaker's Table, Asher C. Hines Postmaster, Samuel Langham Reading Clerks, N. A. D. and N. A. R. 
Sergeant at Arms, Henry Casson. Topic. See also. United States elections, 1908 elections leading to this Congress United States presidential election, 1908 United States Senate elections, 1908 United States House of Representatives elections, 1908 United States elections, 1910 elections during this Congress, leading to the next Congress United States Senate elections, 1910 United States House of Representatives elections, 1910